How embarrassing is it when you install a brand new sequel to a game that was alright, expecting the sequel to improve on its predecessor, but then thinking you have installed the remaster of the original by accident? Well there you go, State of Decay 2 is similar to the first one, but that is being nice. State of Decay 2 is the lazy kind of sequel, where they keep it more or less the same, problems and all, but add a couple of new features. But that's not to say the original wasn't good, and there still isn't a game like it, besides this sequel obviously. The base building and building your community is really addictive. Pulling off a successful supply run, attracting as few zombies as possible is still a decent thrill. The first few times you do it anyway. The rest though is pretty boring. Combat is way too simple, with just one attack button and a dodge that looks a bit stupid. The animations are largely ripped from the first one, where it looks like you are giving a zombie a friendly slap with your weapon. I just feel it needs a bit more to it since it's a core part of the game. You can specialise some characters in combat and that gives you like one extra attack but that's it. The main currency of the game, influence, which is required to do anything in the game community building wise, is a right grind to get, leading you to do the same kinds of activities over and over. And there are big brick walls in the way of progression, like getting knowledge of computers to upgrade the command centre, which allows you to take over more outposts, and the game offers no hints towards this stuff. Most of the game boils down to climb a tower, scout locations out from it, loot places, hope you find what you need, and then take it back to your base to store it or use it to upgrade facilities. Even the game's missions have you just looting stuff or scouting for something or wiping out zombies. Fair play to the devs though, there is a lot to dive into on the base management side, but it doesn't really have an impact on the core gameplay besides crafting weapon mods, bombs and repairing weapons which thankfully doesn't take the piss. To put a finer point on it then, after about 3 hours you've seen everything the game has to offer. The new systems in the game served more to annoy me rather than entertain. For example, the other communities that dot the map do not stop fucking moaning at ya. Wah, I need petrol, despite the fact that we live right next to a petrol station. If they can't sort that problem out themselves then let natural selection take its course. Also it doesn't seem that rewarding to help the retards, they don't offer much in the way of services other than storing shit, or you can choose to not help them and they leave, so no more looting on their part, leaving it for you. Or they get hostile and their AI is brain damaged by the way, so you just kill them and nick their stuff. Which is a much less tedious solution and makes you feel like one of the cunty characters in The Walking Dead. The other new feature, the Blood Plague, could have been a good persistent danger having your community be infected and all that, but it is way too easy to cure with the item you need to cure it drop from zombies with red glowing eyes, who again are brain dead. Quite literally actually. And then we have the multiplayer, something the first game screamed for, and it works pretty well. If you join someone else's game you gain influence for contributing to the host community, and you can keep the stuff you have on you when you leave, which is a decent enough reward for me, others might want a bit more though I imagine. I actually like the idea of the tether system in co-op, the devs said it was due to a technical limitation, but I honestly think it makes the online game better. You won't get a random twat join your game wander to the other side of the map and die offering no help to anyone in the match. The multiplayer seemed to make performance drop a bit for me though. Lag combined with a frame rate that is pretty choppy even in single player started to make me feel sick after a while, and in a game that doesn't look that special and considers a zombie horde about 4 of the fuckers, it's baffling, especially when it's one of the main criticisms of the first one. I could just say, if you like the first one then you will like this one, because this is just more of that. But I expect better from sequels, people often say bad sequels are like a 1.5 version, but State of Decay 2 doesn't even feel like that much of a step. It's more of a 1.25, which is ironically the score I would give it out of 10.